Ghost Hunter Dan, Ghost Hunter Larry behind the camera. And we're at the grave of, uh, of a baby here in Maple Cemetery. As you can see, a little lamb. Uh, the reason that we're here, and even stepped in here, is because uh, the police department came by. Before we started. Before we started. We were here what? 20, 30 seconds? 25 seconds. Police department came by and uh, told us that he uh, has heard about us and respects us enough and knows that we respect cemeteries and gave us permission to just stay on the edge here and, and come in here. Uh, we mentioned this grave to him that we had gotten uh, hits during the day and he said, well, he goes, go in there. He goes, I, I know you guys are respectful and everything so he goes I don't have an issue with that so what did he say about him coming in here and not coming in he said he has a gun on his side and he wouldn't come into this graveyard so or cemetery, <laughs> cemetery. that's uh, pretty funny so yeah so anyway I.e. the reason that we're standing inside of the cemetery uh, Larry and Rob and I were here before uh, thus the reason we're back at this spot because there is a child's grave here and uh, when we were here before, that very ghost meter, uh, we got hits right off, right off the top of the charts. Um, so that being said, uh, we've laid the ghost meter back at the foot of the lamb to see if we can get any more hits here. So uh, I'm going to ask a few questions. I'm going to just do, we don't have our EVP recorder with us tonight because uh, mine got broke. And it is way too windy. And it's way too windy even if we did have it. So we'll just kind of run it and see if the camera audio picks up anything. I'm going to also run video with the uh, UV camera. You can see flashing in your face there. Oh, yeah. And uh, You want me to fix this on the meter? Hmm? You want me to put this on the meter? Uh, you, why don't you put it on me and I'll fix this on the meter. All right. So uh, I'm going to just do a quick session. I'm going to kind of kneel down here. And uh, I'm going to keep this camera trained and Larry's going to just kind of film one on the and Ghost Hunter Dan's got bad knees, so this is probably not a real good idea. So, here we go. I got bad knees too, I'm standing up. Alright. Uh, we're looking for the person that uh, touched touched this uh, meter for us uh, last year when we were here. Do you think you can make that meter jump? Can you at least make the... Uh, Needle jump for me. The needle kind of moves a little bit, it's important to say, but the wind is kind of going right across the ground, and if it's making the ghost meter shake at all, it's going to make the needle bounce back and forth. There's also the potential that the seal on the edge of it could have a, a gap in it. Right. And the wind could also be going through and pushing the needle itself. So I'm going to train this camera and run the video right on the needle to see if we can see it jump. If that's too much or too little. Alright, so I'm going to put this camera back on the meter and see if it jumps. If it does, I'm going to put it on the meter. If it doesn't, I'm going to put it on the meter. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, hear it. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to us? That was weird. That was. That was a little weird. Oh, you want to explain what happened? When I asked if somebody would like to talk to us, all of a sudden a gust of wind went through the cornfield and it actually looked like a little spot where the corn parted. Uh -huh. I'm sure it was just the wind. I'm not saying that was paranormal or a ghost, but uh, it was just kind of weird. I asked the question all of a sudden. Yeah, we can't the see the, the cornfield on here. You can't see it on the video, but uh, Larry and I are probably 20 yards, 30 yards from the cornfield, and it was weird. It looked just like the corn parted and then went back together like somebody walked into the cornfield. Yeah. Out. I saw it too. It was weird. Yeah, we both saw it at the same time. It was weird. And uh, Larry said weird, and I, I was kind of still looking there, but uh, it uh, definitely was just a... You know, I'm not saying it was paranormal, it's just, you know, 
you get out in these cemeteries and it's midnight right now and uh you know you get that little children of the corn thing in the back of your head and yeah malachi is going to come out and get us or whatever you know, how do you it think it ain't going to happen but. how do you think i feel i've got the entire cemetery to my back right now yeah, yeah. <laughs> well i i can see there's nothing behind you so yeah. if anything comes you let me know okay if anything comes i'm probably going to drop the camera okay well, you're chicken so anyway um let's uh let's go ahead and take our meter and I'm just going to show you, I don't know if you can really see the needle, but any kind of movement makes a needle bounce. So with the wind coming across the ground like it is, um, you know, I mean I'm taking steps and the needle's bouncing. I just kind of want to show you that even though we were in the cemetery, the road right here, I mean we're, we're not even in the cemetery 10 feet. That's Larry's IR light bouncing off of my camera and mine's probably blinding him. Nah, not uh, too bad. There's the street sign and the cornfields just beyond that where that flashing red light is on the stop sign. And right over there is where the corn kind of split. So it was, oh. it was a little weird. I, mean, I got the red light on here. It was a little weird. So it, yeah, it's right by that red light that's flashing there. It's, uh, you know, whatever it is, it's probably Larry's fault. So I accept the blame. We're going to uh, take a little walk up here. And by the Maple Cemetery, which is very nice. Nice landscaping around it. The uh, cemetery board did a beautiful, beautiful job uh, with this new sign. It says Maple Cemetery. Uh, Maple. And, and just to give you guys a little interesting tidbit, there's uh, pictures of Maple Cemetery when there was just this part and wrought iron fence around it that said Maple Cemetery from 1909. And all those stones over in the corner right over here, where Larry's pointing the camera, you can kind of see. Yeah, not on mine. Here at that point. So there, there's a lot of, this is the old part of the cemetery. So, Unfortunately, the IR only has a limited reach. Yeah, the UV does too. But uh, the reason I brought you guys over here is because last year we were leaving here, and I, I what, what needs to be said, because we didn't have our videos running that night, is that, oh, sorry, Larry. There was no, there is absolutely no power lines anywhere here. Yep. I mean, there's nothing. And Larry and Rob and I were leaving. And uh, about this location. It was about this location yep. around this time. Yep. And uh, we were leaving, and uh, this thing started going nuts in Larry's pocket. Now everybody's going to probably think, well, did Larry have a cell phone in his pocket? Actually, Larry didn't. Larry had nothing on. Uh, Rob, Rob and Larry both left their cell phones in their car. Which is typically what we do. Mine was on my side, and you might say, well, that's going to set off, you know, maybe you're set off. Well, I'm going to show you guys right now. Hey, there's my gut. There's my pocket right there. <laughs> my cell phone is in my pocket. This thing isn't even jumping. The only time the EMF meter should go off as a result of your cell phone is because of your phone receiving something. So you're getting a phone call, you know, text message. Calls that night, and like I said, if you you guys watch Larry's video can see where I'm at. I'm about 10 feet from him right now, and uh, that's about where I was that night. And this thing just went nuts in his pocket. He pulled it out, and we set it up on there, and it probably beeped. I mean, full steam beep. Machine gun beep. Yeah, machine gun beep for probably I would say 35 seconds. Yeah, about a half a minute. Yeah. Yep, and then it stopped. Uh, we asked a couple questions and beat to correlate with the questions. That very same meter. That very same meter. This, this one that I got in my hand right here. Yep. And then it was done. So, uh, one thing that I want to say before we cut off these videos tonight is we're very sorry for the wind. It seems like every time Larry and I get out here, it's real windy out. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but... Uh, you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep coming out and doing what we do because uh, that's the small town paranormal way. So that's what we're gonna keep to do, keep on keeping on. Living. So uh, I'm just hoping this video isn't all wind noise, you know? Yeah, well, we can hope. So all right, well, on behalf of Ghost Hunter Larry and everybody from the uh, STP team, uh, 
Thanks for watching as always and thanks for your support and we look forward to bringing you more.